my name is Jay Blakely. Um, I've been mentally ill since I can possibly remember. Um, one particular morning, I was out at a restaurant with my family, and someone had said something that, that touched me off, and I flipped the tables and got in my car, drove down the number 11 highway on the wrong side of the road looking for a truck. Um, and for whatever reason, on that Sunday morning, there were no trucks. But the RCMP got me with a spike strip, and in their knowledge, they dragged me to a psych hospital instead of to jail. And I stayed there for six months in 2006. Your mental illness, when, when you are really ill, dictates every part of your life. You don't get to decide how you feel. You don't get to decide who you love. You don't get to decide what you eat or what you wear when you get out of bed or if you get out of bed. I mean, it controls everything. And suicide is the one way to get that control back. So when you have a child, it takes suicide off the table. And that was very frightening for me because now I face the perilous reality of I got to deal with my stuff now. Like when it gets really bad, I've got to work through it. You know, there's no out anymore. And I guess to, to Jack, you know, I'm grateful for him having done that for me because I know there are a lot of people in my life who would miss me. When I was in the hospital in 2014, I wrote a blog because back during the 2006 hospitalization, I had lied to everyone I knew about where I was. I was ashamed to admit that I was in a psych hospital. So I would say, you know, I'm on vacation in the States or doing this, that, and the other thing. And during the hospitalization in 2014, I didn't want to lie anymore. So I started a blog called Jay Interrupted, and it was for my close friends and family, just to keep tabs on me so they would know what was going on. Uh, but the blog went viral, and I checked the stats one day, and 13,000 people had viewed it in that one day. I started receiving emails from people I didn't know, folks I'd never met, uh, mostly words of encouragement. Uh, but there was one in particular that struck me and it changed my life. Um, and it was a woman who emailed saying that her teenage daughter had been struggling with self-harm, that she and her husband knew it had been going on but didn't know how to, to talk to her about it because they knew something needed to be done but they didn't know how. And the family sat down together and read my blog and that was the genesis and the catalyst for them to start talking about their daughter's self-harm behavior. And the woman emailed me and said, like, we've saved our daughter's life because of your blog. And in that moment, I stopped regretting my mental illness. It's something like, if you can tell your story, lived experience is so powerful. And if you can use that to lift other people up, you've got to go for it.